The overall goal of this procedure is to produce a mouse model of focal cerebral ischemia by blocking the middle cerebral artery with an intraluminal thread. This is accomplished by making a midline neck incision and visualizing the common carotid artery. The next step is to tie ligatures around the common carotid artery and the external carotid artery. Clamps are used to keep them in place and to prevent bleeding. The final step of the procedure is to introduce the filament into the circle of Willis. This blocks the branch of the middle cerebral artery. Ultimately, neurological deficits as a result of this occlusion can be identified through observing changes in behavior. One of the main advantages of proximal MCA occlusion via the filament technique is that it offers highly reproducible lesions in the striatum and in the cortex. Ischemia can be applied permanently and transiently, and furthermore, as it does not require craniectomy, filamentous MCA occlusion can be considered as more or less non-invasive. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle because of the delicate nature of microsurgical techniques. Prior to the procedure, prepare the filament by cutting an 8.0 nylon filament into 11mm lengths under the microscope. The filament tip must be coated completely and evenly over a length of 8mm with a silicon mixture. The use of standard operating procedures is recommended for optimal results. The type of mouse used depends on the goal of the study.